Now, real, I don't know why, but there's a there's a weird hand. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll pan over to that in a second. It's a little terrifying. It's <laughs> okay, uh, we'll get to that. Don't worry. Uh, with us right now, we've got inventors, which mm -hmm. is very cool. Young entrepreneurs and um, uh, Simone Gertz. Yes. Yes. Why Everybody did I? Puts that their was own I'm sorry. Flair on it. No, it doesn't make sense. Simone. And with you, uh, Shivam Bhatt. Said that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's just agreeing with me right now. <laughs> but this is very cool because you, Simone, are gigantic on YouTube. Gigantic you, is it? Is but it, you is have it? a lot of amazing. We were looking at some of the videos beforehand, uh, with uh, and we were, were actually a little disappointed that you didn't bring the lipstick uh, robot. The lipstick robot. Sorta, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. You can you can have it. You can try it afterwards I will try if it. you I like want to. Pretty. Yeah. I think it would look great on you. Uh, first of all, so you're an inventor. I'm an inventor. And, and yeah. And you've been inventing because you're you're fairly young. So, but you've been doing this for quite some time. I've I've been inventing. I've been doing hardware for about two years. So I, I'm not an engineer. I just really had a lot of ideas that I wanted to learn how to prototype. So I started learning programming and I started learning about electronics and 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 then I just started building a lot of stuff. And so are you like self-taught? I'm pretty self-taught. I just yeah. Google my way forth. Really? Google, quite wow. a Google night. Yeah. That's awesome. But I've become my niche has kind of become like useless, but entertaining robots so I have I have one with me here today and it's a hair washing robot that washes your hair for okay. you I, I don't this think we should, should, we should wait it. any longer why don't we just get right into the hair should washing we, robot yes yes yeah, so this here. one it's just uh, yeah, there's a plastic hand which didn't used to be attached to a person it's it's plastic from the start um, yeah 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 <laughs> I have sure. a lot of weird <laughs> limbs <laughs> Weird in, limbs, okay. In, in, in my closet. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but basically there's a shampoo bottle and it just squeezes out the shampoo. There's no name in it right now. Yeah. See if it starts. Yeah, so it just, okay, there's a little bit of water there. Yeah. Just squeezes it out. Yeah. And then it, and then it just the washes oh, yeah. it for you. <laughs> Very effective. So and you kind suction of that to your like your tiles and your showers? That yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like a huge suction cup, and it's actually really strong. You have like this handle, and you just like put it wow. on. So is this something? Like Sorry, that you, I just like that soiled. You, your that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, we've seen worse. Yeah, uh, yeah, is this something you could sell, or is it so? My goal is re not really <laughs> selling stuff. Whenever, but a lot of people are serious about wanting to buy it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But whenever they do that, that's like not the purpose of, of mine. I would rather see people building stuff. So okay. if they want something like this, I just encourage them to build it themselves. So you're about innovation, yep. not necessarily um, commercialization <laughs> of things, right? Yeah. So Siobhan, we want to bring you into the discussion here. You are one of the leaders at a science forum that's coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about, about what that is? It's a youth science forum, which I think is amazing. Yes. The, the goal of the forum really is to like get fifth graders, which are at this point in their life where they, where they either like science yep. or they dislike it, but they haven't decided yet. So our goal here is to inspire them and try to make, like, try to make them see what science is really about. It's not just about sitting down, copying notes, finding weird equations. It's more about like understanding what it will do for us. It's like about what it happens. It's like more about what happens in the real life. It's right. Like so that's where the so what comes in. Yeah. Like so what? So what? This does, you know you can watch. So what? Is that yeah. that's answering these exactly. questions for? Yeah. So, so what? So what? Robotics. So what? You can so wash what? your hair with it. Yeah. It makes nice. sense. And you're yes. a grade ten student as well. Yes. Us. Okay. So uh, do you find it difficult? To, or I mean, is there a little click? I guess within your your friends, is is it hard to expand that and get more people involved? Not not really. It's just because the way we have like designed our education system and the way we have like. The way we think of science is the problem, but if we teach newer generations what it's really about, we yeah. could really change the way, the, the how many people really like it. Okay. And I love that. I mean, I, I love one of the reasons that you brought in Siobhan is to get, um, sorry, that you brought in Simone, is to get people excited about science. That science is not just textbook, mm -hmm. right? It, to get that science literacy, to get people talking about science, understanding it and how it can be applied, mm -hmm. yeah. right? I see that you've got this big blue thing mm -hmm. behind you. Yes. What, is, what is that, Siobhan? I like to call this uh, the gravity simulator. Okay. Right, the gravity and simulator. So are these the, the type of experiments that students will be able to... Well, this is more like a demonstration than okay. an experiment. And the point here is like the, to show why matter attracts. So we're a little tilted here. So if I have two golf balls here, they'll be attracted to each other, not okay. by magic, but because they interact with this thing here that we can call space-time. And when they, they interact with it, they're attracted due to the 
uh, disturbances. Okay, so so what? Now, so, yeah. you, so you've shown that, and now what's the next thing that you want so to... So this, knowing this will affect us in many ways, like this, exp like, like we just found gravitational waves quite recently, mm -hmm. and this could in fact help us create better transportation. So maybe in the future we could go th to new other galaxies. It also helps us look at how gravity works and has real life applications on Earth as well, like medicine, it can help us like create better treatment for people that are missing limbs, create more realistic prosthetics. Also with like plants, mm -hmm. like how it can like imp we can improve how we grow plants. Mm. If we know more this work. is so far above my head. I don't know what's going on right now. This <laughs> so guy's going to make a billion dollars one day. This is going to be leading the country. Well, I think this is, I, you know, what I find really exciting is because you show an experiment like this to students, they sort of have a visual for this gravitational pull, whatever it is that you're trying to, you know, the, the, uh, the physics that you're trying to teach. And then you ask the question, so what? How mm -hmm. can we apply this? I think that's really important because it makes science real and practical and it creates innovators. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's really awesome. I think, I mean, I'm a lot about, because a lot of people ask me like, why do you build these things? And right. I'm always like, why not? Yeah. Because it feels like you always have to have a reason to do things. But I think just exploring stuff, like how can this actually apply to us? Yeah. And, and just having an open mind and seeing seeing what, what, I mean, that's how innovation happens. You're just like, oh, this thing is interesting. And then you just tag along. And you've actually come a long way for this, uh, this event as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm based in Stockholm, Sweden. Wow. Oh. So wow. Super so what? <laughs> Swedish. So what? <laughs> well. uh, okay, so tell us a bit about uh, when people, when is this actually taking place? Tomorrow, Tomorrow. in fact. Okay. We're, in, we're getting uh, 110 fifth graders to the Aviation Museum in Ottawa. Fun. And our job, like, we're going to be presenting things. My per, I'm personally presenting gravity, mm -hmm. and I'm going to, this is going to be one of the things I'm going to show them. Presenting gravity. Yeah. yeah. Presenting gravity. And people are just going to fall all over the place. Well, it's it's yeah. very teachable, you know, it makes it yeah. tangible and real. Gravity you is can not drop just an invisible thing. Yes. As an educational thing, you're <laughs> like, oh, well, that's yeah. gravity for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm confused. So it's already all set, like the people can't actually go to this, but you, you've got your... Your your students already all signed up and lined up and ready yeah. to go. Yeah. Okay, it's very so exclusive. The, it's exclusive. Yeah, okay. yeah. you have to be like an IQ of two thousand to get in. <laughs> all right, simple as that. Well, thank you so much, uh, Simone and uh, Shivam. That was a lot of fun, and I'm not freaked out at all. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks so much for being here. Great luck Washing with it, guys. My hair. <laughs> and keep doing Makes what you do, Simone. It's so awesome. Pretty. Oh, thank you. Oh, geez. We are coming.